I've never learned how to tie a tie, but can I teach you? Let's talk about it. So, tying a tie to me has been bullshit forever. Big dude, got a big neck. This is some penguin suit stuff. This, you can see even the top buttons fighting me. But I need to learn how to tie a tie, and I'm hoping I can teach you two of them. One's the basics and one's the uh, not so basic. Off to the side, I got an iPad Pro with some instructions where I figure this out. First is called the Oriental Knot. The Oriental Knot's the one I think you see everywhere. We're gonna try this and see how it goes. First step, it has it inside out. That's fun, never knew that. Second step, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna cross them. Looks like the short end stays pretty short and the long end stays pretty long. I'm also a big dude, so buyer beware. Once I'm here, I come up and I cross it. This looks like where I make the knot part, I think. This could be a small knot. Then you come up and through. Oh yeah, this is awful. All right. Oh, looking like a tie, guys. And now you put it through here in this little hole. That's the name of my sex tape. We're gonna see how this looks. <laughs> nah, let's try again. One more time for the people in the back. I can see how it works. You can see it made the knot here, but it did not stay inside, so I clearly did something incorrect. All right, so we're inside out again. Bottom over top. I exaggerated, if it's too short, we'll deal with it. I'm gonna cross this over, and this makes the front part of the knot. I think that's pretty important. I'm gonna stick a finger in there so I have room this time. And I'm gonna go up and through. Now this is where you'll start to see the tie come into shape. It straightens itself outright, which is nice. And you can feel the knot behind here. Now all I gotta do is get this through here without messing this up. And guys, you participated in my first knot tying. Okay. Hold the knot in place, flip it over, tighten it by pulling the back end. And it's a little off center. Flip your collar down. What do we think, serviceable? Good enough for the average dinner? I think so, I think that'll work. Not awful, Josh, not awful. The Oriental Knot is really basic. And it's actually much easier than ad people advertise. A lot of people really stress out about this. I think the important part is one, knowing it's upside down. And then the small part in front, pin it with a hand, right? So when you come across with the knot, you're gonna switch pinning hands. And it's gonna to start to form that knot. This motion right here, like let's get up in that business. Uh, you can see, look, that's half the knot, cuz. Then when I wrap it around, that's the whole knot. That's it. Knot city, beep. Thread it through. And now you're just the tie without the knot piece. And then in. And this is the dodgy part. It needs to be loose enough you can adjust. And then once you're over, oh. Oh, son. Yeah, I'm out of the collar, this looks dumb. But like, kids. Be like me when you grow up. Learn how to tie a tie. Look at that. Now the problem is, and this is what a lot of people are gonna say, this is a very basic knot. That's a very basic tie. And I get that, right? So part of this is, and here I'll even show you. This is the camera that I'm using to see me. Part of the issue with this knot is, you can see I'm a big guy, so it's a small knot. So even as I adjust this knot real tight, Man, that's a small knot. It doesn't fill the collar area very well. So I have a friend, his name is Piyush, and I'm gonna have this conversation with you real quick while I'm untying this. My friend Piyush is in Singapore. I went to school with him at Singapore American School, and that man said, no successful businessman gets to be a CEO without what's called a double Windsor. Well, I got news for you, Piyush. There's no such thing as double Windsor. Suck it. No, seriously, though, there is no such thing as a double Windsor. The knot that everybody ties isn't a half Windsor either. It's called an oriental knot. The tie that he's talking about is called a full Windsor. 
a full Windsor and a half Windsor are different knots. Now, when you look at the Windsor knot instructions, I'm not gonna lie to you, this part's gonna be daunting, but you're gonna come along with the ride. We're gonna leave this back end long. First, we're gonna cross. Once I'm on this side, I'm coming through. All right, once we're through, we come over to this other side. Wait, wait. <laughs> this is this hard. I'm through, we're gonna come around the back. Yeah, so we're here, we're around the back. Looks like we're through again. And then we're gonna, this is where it turns into the same tie. We're gonna go through, and then we're gonna go up over. Oh, wait a second. And we're gonna tuck. I think we might have this, folks. Oh. Oh, cuz. Huge. Were you holding out on me, son? All right, folks, moment of truth. How does it look? Oh, that's a much nicer knot. Look at that, folks. 35 and I can learn how to tie a tie. Real talk though. Some of the things you're gonna notice and I'm gonna get close and I'm gonna hold this camera up here so I can kind of see it above you. Things we're looking at, look how much bigger this knot is. Like look how much more and I'll get up close. Look how wide that knot is. This is the color of money. This is Wall Street. This is Gordon Gecko. This is hot fire. I think the Windsor knot is now an amazing knot. It is hard to tie. I am gonna include the website that I learned how to do this because I think this is important. I think every male should learn how to tie a tie appropriately. And I, to be honest, I never did. Where I grew up in Singapore, they could teach you how to tie a tie or they could build a zipper in. Now there are a lot of companies that'll take this back end, cut a slit and put a zipper in, put the other part of the zipper on the back of the knot and you just zip it up and down. Honestly, that's easy. And I get that we're working towards a workforce that necessarily doesn't have ties. But you can see how much more professional this looks. The Windsor knot is where it's at. I'm gonna tell you, Pusch, you were not wrong. Guys, we just learned how to tie two knots in a tie. One is a quick one you can whip on. The second one, if you have a little bit more time and a little bit of a longer tie, I'm telling you, man. I think this knot is super professional. It's tight and it's pretty self-balancing. Take your time. The full Windsor looks nice, looks more professional. I don't hate it at all. Um, and one last thing I'm gonna recommend to every guy who's watching, inside my collars, I have metal magnetic collar stays. I got them on Amazon for like $10. Now I'm not an Amazon affiliate, so I'm not gonna put links to anything that I can make money off of, but these are called working stiffs. They're just little magnetic collar stays. So when you take them out, you put them in the laundry, the collar can get beat up a little bit. Then you can throw these right back in and they're good to go. And I'll tell you what, they're that easy to put in and while they're magnets, it's phenomenal. So you don't have to worry about any of the wear and tear on the plastic ones that you get. These are fantastic guys. So this will be a quick little video, how to tie two ties. I hope you learned something. Hope you learned how to do a full wins or not. And as always, subscribe if you haven't yet. It helps me. If I get to 100 subscriptions, I get the custom URL, I can help more people. Second, like this video. The more likes you give it, the more people get to see it. I've seen those metrics bear out and it's amazing to me. Three, comment down below. Can you tie a tie? Did you learn how? Did you go to the link? Um, and as always, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.